guys, so today I'm going to be doing this Kylie Jenner Golden Globes inspired makeup tutorial and I really hope that you're going to enjoy it. I personally thought she looked so stunning on the red carpet, I mean she was just incredible and I just love the entire vibe, it was very bronzy, very kind of smoky and then a winged out smoky eye makeup look without any winged liner. I just I loved it so very much and so many of you guys requested me doing that makeup tutorial for you guys so here it is I really hope that you're going to enjoy it and without further ado let's get into the video thank you so very much for watching remember to like subscribe all of that jazz let's do it so let's get right into it as you can see I've already applied my foundation because I'm trying out this L'Oreal foundation so I'm going to move on with my MAC Pro Longwear concealer and I'm going to use it on my spots or redness wherever I need some more coverage and it's a bit too light for the foundation, however, we'll deal with it, we'll deal with it. And I'm just gonna blend it in with my beauty blender. And for those amazing under eye bags, I'm gonna use my Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. And I'm using it in a triangular shape as you can see and I'm also using it on my nose and just to highlight a tiny bit as well and I'm using my finger just to blend it in and afterwards I'm using my beauty blender I'm using my Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder and I'm gonna bake with it so once again I'm using my um, Beauty Blender once again the most amazing tool for almost everything when it comes to the face right and then I'm going on with the brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade because I want my dogs to be really 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 dark just like um, Kylie's even though I've got blonde hair doesn't matter doesn't matter <laughs> details you know I'm just touching up with some concealer under my brows to make them a bit more straight and a bit more sorted. And the last little extra step is obviously the Brow Artist Plumber from L'Oreal in the color Medium Dark, I think. It just really fills in the brows so nicely, it makes them even darker, and I really like that effect. It is amazing, this product. And as you can see, I'm just dusting away the excess um, powder under my eyes and then I'm moving on with my eyeshadows and firstly I'm just going to use some concealer as an eye base and then afterwards we're moving on to the eyeshadows. So I'm going to use my Lorac Pro to go palette and I'm using the color called Shell all over my eyelids just as a base color. Moving on, I'm grabbing the color called Cafe and I'm going to use that in my crease just to warm up my crease and actually I'm going to build it up very very much. I'm also going to bring it into my inner tear dog area as you can see it's going to look really really smoky. It is kind of difficult to explain but just see what I'm doing and I'm also going to wing it out. On my entire eyelid I'm going to use the color called Chai and it's just such a beautiful bronzy shade and it just looks amazing on the eyelids and I'm just using a big fluffy brush and then I'm fluffing it in or blending it in it's called in my crease as you can see it looks amazing and then I'm kind of like winging it out as you can see because that was what Kylie did and it looks amazing on her I really liked it and then I'm going to take the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the color Shaft of Gold and I'm using that kind of like in the inner part of my eyes as you can see just to brighten up and still have that bronzy effect then I'm using the Pro to Go palette once again I'm using the bronze shade and I'm using it under my eyes because she wore this kind of like warm tone bronzy shade under her eyes as well and to intensify it even more, I'm gonna use the Little Black Book of Bronzes from Too Faced. I'm using the Dark Chocolate Soleil color under the eyes. And once again, I'm kinda like winging it out and just making it even more intense. And then I'm using a blending brush just to blend it in. We don't want any harsh edges, you know that. And I feel like this look is all about the bronze, really. So I'm using the color Chameleon from Shadow Tilbury in the color Dark Pearl 
in my waterline as you can see and then I'm also going to blend it out onto my skin and then continuing with the Dior Cold Eyeliner Pencil in the color black just on top as you can see just smudging it in really and then once again blending it in with a brush it just makes it a bit more smoky Continuing on with the IT Cosmetic My Sculpted Face, I'm using many bronze and highlighting shades as you can see. I'm using this highlighting shade which is actually kind of matte and it's very very white which was the kind of highlight that Kylie wore, at least I think so. And once again make sure to blend it so there's no harsh edges. And then with mascara, Kylie didn't really wear that much mascara, at least I did not feel like that. So I'm just using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. It doesn't give me too much volume or length, it just defines my lashes. And for a quick inner corner highlight, I'm using Pearl and Shell from the Protego Lorac palette. It looks incredible in there, come on. And that is actually the eyes done, and then I'm moving on with the Shaft of Gold bronzer. Once again, on my cheeks, as you can see, her look was very, very, very bronzy, so I'm going for that very bronzed effect. And it was also kind of not glowy but just very oh, just very film stylish <laughs> i really liked it and i'm also contouring my nose a tiny bit with the dark chocolate soleil color from the Too faced little black book of bronzes palette and as a blush i'm using the charlotte tilbury cheek to cheek sex on fire um, blush really really pretty very natural as you can see and i didn't use too much i just kind of tried to blend it in actually so it looked very very natural and then for highlighter, I'm taking these two shades under my eyes actually and also a tiny bit on my forehead because I felt like that her T-zone was very enlightened. And then for the lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in the color Subculture, just overdrawing obviously because it is Kylie, so I'm overdrawing my lips and just filling them in with this lip liner. And afterwards, I'm going in with the Rimmel Lip Lacquer in the color Phenomenon. Such a great nude shade and it looks amazing on top of this um, lip liner. And that is actually the look complete, guys. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, all of that jazz. Thank you so much for watching and I love you all very much.